hello everyone calculate the number of steps for matrix addition here using the frequency count method using count variable so here we are going to apply uh, uh, rows and columns so here we are going to take the two dimensional uh, uh, matrix so here um, we will pass the i and j variable declaration so declaration will consume only zero amount of time then a for loop which is uh, considered as a uh, control part so it will consume one unit of time into how many times row number of times so row number of times the one unit of time will consume inside this we are having the number of columns so number of columns will consume one unit of time how many times first column types columns times and also this columns times also will execute and also row number of times so which is inner loop this uh, second loop j loop is inner loop to the i so it will execute uh, uh, row number of times and column number of times and one unit of time and here the assignment state of statement uh, is also executed for first column number of times so it will consume one unit of time for this operation then how many times it will execute column number of times and this is inside the uh, ith loop okay outer loop i so row number of times so this will execute row number of times so here the count is uh, incremented uh, this many number of times then when it is exiting the loop first the i jth loop will exit from the uh, execution so this count is exited for the jth loop so how many times it will exit so this is inner loop to the uh, for loop i so this will e execute right one unit of time how many times row number of times because this count is inside the uh, uh, inside the row, uh, rows loop that is outer loop so it will execute row number of times then finally we are exiting from the rows loop when it is uh, reaching the row plus one okay so when it is greater than rows then the row rows the ith loop is exiting from the execution so this is consuming only one unit of time so it is exiting uh, from the ith loop so only once so it is one unit of time now you calculate so here um, uh, here we are having uh, two times rows and columns so here two into uh, rows and columns then plus so here one time of rows row here one time of rows so two into row rows plus then here this is one time so plus one so this is the number of steps this algorithm is consuming um, for execution thanks for watching